The Commonwealth of the Philippines Spanish, Mancomunidad de Filipinas, Tagalog, Commonwealth ng Pilipinas was the administrative body that governed the Philippines from 1935 to 1946, aside from a period of exile in the Second World War from 1942 to 1945 when Japan occupied the country. It replaced the Insular Government, a United States territorial government, and was established by the Tidings McDuffie Act. The Commonwealth was designed as a transitional administration in preparation for the country's full achievement of independence. During its more than a decade of existence, the Commonwealth had a strong executive and a Supreme Court. Its legislature, dominated by the Nationalista Party, was at first unicameral, but later bicameral. In 1937, the government selected Tagalog, the language of Manila and its surrounding provinces, as the basis of the national language, although it would be many years before its usage became general. Women's suffrage was adopted and the economy recovered to its pre-depression level before the Japanese occupation in 1942. The Commonwealth government went into exile from 1942 to 1945, when the Philippines was under Japanese occupation. In 1946, the Commonwealth ended and the Philippines claimed full sovereignty as provided for in Article 18 of the 1935 Constitution. Names The Commonwealth of the Philippines was also known as the Philippine Commonwealth, or simply as the Commonwealth. It had official names in Tagalog, Commonwealth ng Pilipinas place pins, and Spanish, Commonwealth de Filipinas Filipinas. The 1935 Constitution specifies the Philippines as the country's short form name and uses the Philippine Islands only to refer to pre-1935 status and institutions. Under the Insular Government 1901-1935, both terms had official status. History Creation The pre-1935 U.S. Territorial Administration, or Insular Government, was headed by a Governor-General who was appointed by the President of the United States. In December 1932, the U.S. Congress passed the Hare Haas Cutting Act with the premise of granting Filipinos independence. Provisions of the bill included reserving several military and naval bases for the United States, as well as imposing tariffs and quotas on Philippine exports. When it reached him for possible signature, President Herbert Hoover vetoed the Hare Haas Cutting Act, but the American Congress overrode Hoover's veto in 1933 and passed the bill over Hoover. S. Objections. The bill, however, was opposed by the then Philippine Senate President Manuel L. Quezon and was also rejected by the Philippine Senate. This led to the creation and passing of a new bill known as Tidings McDuffie Act, or Philippine Independence Act, which allowed the establishment of the Commonwealth of the Philippines with a 10 year period of peaceful transition to full independence, the date of which was to be on 4 July following the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the Commonwealth. A constitutional convention was convened in Manila on July. 30, 1934. On February 8, 1935, the 1935 Constitution of the Commonwealth of the Philippines was approved by the Convention by a vote of 177 to 1. The Constitution was approved by President Franklin D. Roosevelt on March 23, 1935 and ratified by popular vote on May 14, 1935. On 17 September 1935, presidential elections were held. Candidates included former President Emilio Aguinaldo, the Iglesia Filipina Independiente leader Gregorio Aglipay, and others. Manuel L. Quezon and Sergio Osmeña of the Nacionalista Party were proclaimed the winners, winning the seats of President and Vice President, respectively. The Commonwealth Government was inaugurated on the morning of November 15, 1935, in ceremonies held on the steps of the Legislative Building in Manila. The event was attended by a crowd of around 300,000 people. Pre-war The new government embarked on ambitious nation-building policies in preparation for economic and political independence. 
These included national defense such as the National Defense Act of 1935, which organized a conscription for service in the country, greater control over the economy, the perfection of democratic institutions, reforms in education, improvement of transport, the promotion of local capital, industrialization, and the colonization of Mindanao. However, uncertainties, especially in the diplomatic and military situation in Southeast Asia, in the level of U.S. commitment to the future Republic of the Philippines, and in the economy due to the Great Depression, proved to be major problems. The situation was further complicated by the presence of agrarian unrest, and of power struggles between Osmeña and Quezon, especially after Quezon was permitted to be re-elected after one six-year term. A proper evaluation of the policy's effectiveness or failure is difficult due to Japanese invasion and occupation during World War II. World War II Japan launched a surprise attack on the Philippines on December 8, 1941. The Commonwealth government drafted the Philippine Army into the U.S. Army Forces Far East, which would resist Japanese occupation. Manila was declared an open city to prevent its destruction, and it was occupied by the Japanese on January 2, 1942. Meanwhile, battles against the Japanese continued on the Bataan Peninsula, Corregidor, and Leyte until the final surrender of United States Philippine forces in May 1942. Quezon and Osmeña were escorted by troops from Manila to Corregidor, and later left for Australia prior to going to the U.S., where they set up a government in exile, based at the Shoreham Hotel, in Washington, D.C. This government participated in the Pacific War Council as well as the Declaration by United Nations. Quezon became ill with tuberculosis and died from it, with Osmeña succeeding him as president. The main general headquarters of the Philippine Commonwealth Army PCA, located on the military station in Ermita, Manila, was closed down on December 24, 1941. Upon arrival of the Japanese Imperial Forces which occupied Manila on January 2, 1942, the defunct PCA main headquarters in the capital city was occupied as the Japanese assumed control. Subsequent to commencement of the Japanese occupation, from January 3, 1942 to June 30, 1946, during and after the Second World War, the general headquarters and military camps and bases of the PCA military stations in the main provinces of the Philippine archipelago from Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao were openly under control of the PCA service and began local military conflicts and to engage operations against the Japanese occupation in this country. Meanwhile, the Japanese military organized organized a new government in the Philippines known as the Second Philippine Republic, headed by President Jose P. Laurel. This pro-Japanese government became very unpopular, resistance to the Japanese occupation continued in the Philippines. This included the Hukbalahap, People's Army Against the Japanese, which consisted of 30,000 armed men and controlled much of central Luzon. Remnants of the Philippine Army also successfully fought the Japanese through guerrilla warfare, eventually liberating all but 12 of the 48 provinces. General Douglas MacArthur S. Army landed on Leyte on October 20, 1944, and were welcomed as liberators, as were the Philippine Commonwealth troops who arrived in other amphibious landings. The Philippine Constabulary was placed on active service with the Philippine Commonwealth Army and re-established on October 28, 1944 to June 30, 1946 during the Allied liberation to post-World War II era. Fighting continued in remote corners of the Philippines until Japan's surrender in August 1945, which was signed on September 2 in Tokyo Bay. Estimates of Filipino war dead reached 1 million, and Manila was extensively damaged when Japanese Marines refused to vacate the city when ordered to do so by the Japanese High Command. After the war in the Philippines, the Commonwealth was restored and a one year transitional period in preparation for independence began. Elections followed in April 1946 with Manuel Roxas winning as the first president of the Independent Republic of the Philippines and Elpidio Quirino winning as vice president. In spite of the years of Japanese occupation, the Philippines became independent exactly as scheduled a decade before, on July 4, 1946. Independence 
The Commonwealth ended when the U.S. recognized Philippine independence on July 4, 1946, as scheduled. However, the economy remained dependent on the U.S. This was due to the Bell Trade Act, otherwise known as the Philippine Trade Act, which was a precondition for receiving war rehabilitation grants from the United States. Policies Uprisings and agrarian reform at the time, tenant farmers held grievances often rooted to debt caused by the sharecropping system, as well as by the dramatic increase in population, which added economic pressure to the tenant farmers' families. As a result, an agrarian reform program was initiated by the Commonwealth. However, success of the program was hampered by ongoing clashes between tenants and landowners. An example of these clashes includes one initiated by Benigno Ramos through his Sagdalista movement, which advocated tax reductions, land reforms, the breakup of the large estates or haciendas, and the severing of American ties. The uprising, which occurred in central Luzon in May, 1935, claimed about a hundred lives. National language The Commonwealth had two official languages, Spanish, and English. Due to the diverse number of Philippine languages, a program for the development and adoption of a common national language based on the existing native dialects was drafted in the 1935 Constitution. The Commonwealth created the Surian ng Wiking Pambansa National Language Institute, which was initially composed of President Quezon and six other members from various ethnic groups. A deliberation was held and Tagalog, due to its extensive literary tradition, was selected as the basis for the national language to be called Filipino. In 1940, the Commonwealth authorized the creation of a dictionary and grammar book for the language. In that same year, Commonwealth Act 570 was passed, allowing Filipino to become an official language upon independence. Economy the cash economy of the Commonwealth was mostly agriculture-based. Products included abaca, coconuts and coconut oil, sugar, and timber. Numerous other crops and livestock were grown for local consumption by the Filipino people. Other sources for foreign income included the spin-off from money spent at American military bases on the Philippines such as the naval base at Subic Bay and Clark Air Base with U.S. Army airplanes there as early as 1919, both on the island of Luzon. The performance of the economy was initially good despite challenges from various agrarian uprisings. Taxes collected from a robust coconut industry helped boost the economy by funding infrastructure and other development projects. However, growth was halted due to the outbreak of World War II. Demographics in 1939, a census of the Philippines was taken and determined that it had a population of 16,303,000, of these 15.7 million were counted as brown, 141.8 thousand as yellow, 19.3 thousand as white, 29.1 thousand as negro, 50.5 thousand as mixed, and under 1 thousand other. In 1941, the estimated population of the Philippines reached 17 million, there were 117,000 Chinese, 30,000 Japanese, and 9,000 Americans. English was spoken by 26.3% of the population, according to the 1939 census. Spanish, after English overtook it beginning in the 1920s, became a language for the elite and in government. It was later banned during the Japanese occupation. Estimated numbers of speakers of the dominant languages Cebuano, 4,620,685, Tagalog, 3,068,565. Ilocano, 2,353,518. Hiligaynon, 1,951,005 Waray, 920,009 Kapampangan, 621,455 Pangasinan, 573,752 Government 
The Commonwealth had its own constitution, which remained effective until 1973, and was self-governing although foreign policy and military affairs would be under the responsibility of the United States, and laws passed by the legislature affecting immigration, foreign trade, and the currency system had to be approved by the United States President. During the 1935-41 period, the Commonwealth of the Philippines featured a very strong executive, a unicameral National Assembly, and a Supreme Court, all composed entirely of Filipinos. Filipinos, as well as an elected resident commissioner to the United States House of Representatives, as Puerto Rico does today. An American high commissioner and an American military advisor, Douglas MacArthur headed the latter office from 1937 until the advent of World War II in 1941, holding the military rank of Field Marshal of the Philippines. After 1946, the rank of Field Marshal disappeared from the Philippine military. During 1939 and 1940, after an amendment in the Commonwealth's Constitution, a bicameral Congress, consisting of a Senate, and of a House of Representatives, was restored, replacing the National Assembly. Politics List of Presidents The colors indicate the political party or coalition of each president at Election Day. One died of tuberculosis at Saranac Lake, New York. Point two end of Commonwealth Government, Independent Republic inaugurated. Quezon Administration, 1935-44 In 1935 Quezon won the Philippines' first national presidential election under the banner of the Nationalista Party. He obtained nearly 68% of the vote against his two main rivals, Emilio Aguinaldo and Bishop Gregorio Aglipe. Quezon was inaugurated in November 1935. He is recognized as the second president of the Philippines. When Manuel L. Quezon was inaugurated president of the Philippines in 1935, he became the first Filipino to head a government of the Philippines since Emilio Aguinaldo and the Malolos Republic in 1898. However, in January 2008, Congressman Rodolfo Valencia of Oriental Mindoro filed a bill seeking instead to declare General Miguel Malvar as the second Philippine president. Having directly succeeded Aguinaldo in 1901, Quezon had originally been barred by the Philippine Constitution from seeking re election. However, in 1940, constitutional amendments were ratified allowing him to seek re election for a fresh term ending in 1943. In the 1941 presidential elections, Quezon was re-elected over former Senator Juan Simulong with nearly 82% of the vote. In a notable humanitarian act, Quezon, in cooperation with U.S. High Commissioner Paul V. McNutt, facilitated the entry into the Philippines of Jewish refugees fleeing fascist regimes in Europe. Quezon was also instrumental in promoting a project to resettle the refugees in Mindanao. Quezon suffered from tuberculosis and spent his last years in a cure cottage in Saranac Lake, N.Y., where he died on August 1, 1944. He was initially buried in Arlington National Cemetery. His body was later carried by the USS Princeton and reinterred in Manila at the Manila North Cemetery before being moved to Quezon City within the monument at the Quezon Memorial Circle. Osmeña administration, 1944-46 Osmeña became president of the Commonwealth on Quezon's death in 1944. He returned to the Philippines the same year with General Douglas MacArthur and the Liberation Forces. After the war Osmeña restored the Commonwealth government and the various executive departments. He continued the fight for Philippine independence. For the presidential election of 1946 Osmeña refused to campaign, saying that the Filipino people knew of his record of 40 years of honest and faithful service. Nevertheless, he was defeated by Manuel Roxas, who won 54% of the vote and became the first president of the Independent Republic of the Philippines. Roxas administration, May 28, 1946 to July 4, 1946 Roxas served as the President of the Commonwealth of the Philippines in a brief period, from his subsequent election on May 28, 1946 to July 4, 1946, the scheduled date of the Proclamation of Philippine Independence. 
Roxas prepared the groundwork for the advent of a free and independent Philippines, assisted by the Congress reorganized May 25, 1946, with Senator Jose Avellino as the Senate President and Congressman Eugenio Perez as the House of Representatives Speaker. On June 3, 1946, Roxas appeared for the first time before the joint session of the Congress to deliver his first State of the Nation address. Among other things, he told the members of the Congress the grave problems and difficulties the Philippines were set to face and reported on his special trip to the U.S. The approval for independence, on June 21, he reappeared in another joint session of the Congress and urged the acceptance of two important laws passed by the U.S. Congress on April 30, 1946 regarding the Philippine lands. They are the Philippine Rehabilitation Act and the Philippine Trade Act. Both recommendations were accepted by the Congress. See also Commonwealth, U.S. Insular Area Political History of the Philippines History of the Philippines Philippine Organic Act, 1902 Jones Law, Philippines, Philippines Organic Act, 1916 Treaty of Paris, 1898 Filipino Repatriation Act of 1935 Hare-Haas Cutting Act, 1932 Notes References Bibliography Philippine Legislature, 100 Years, Philippine Historical Association, New Day Publishers, 2000, ISBN 971-92245-0-9. Agoncillo, Teodoro A., Guerrero, Milagros, 1970, History of the Filipino People, Malaya Books, retrieved 28 December 2007. 2001, The Fateful Years, Japan's Adventure in the Philippines 1941-1945, 1, Quezon City, Ph., University of the Philippines Press, ISBN 978-971-542-274-1. Dolan, Ronald E., ed., 1991. Economic Relations with the United States. Philippines, A Country Study, Washington, GPO for the Library of Congress, retrieved 28 December 2007. Jin Ui, Keat, 2004, Southeast Asia, A Historical Encyclopedia, From Angkor Wat to East Timor, ABC Clio, ISBN 978-1-57607-770-2. Hayden, Joseph Ralston, 1942, The Philippines, A Study in National Development, Macmillan, retrieved 28 December 2007. Laxamina, Leo Divico Cruz, 1990, Philippine History and Government, Phoenix, ISBN 971-06-1894-6, retrieved 28 December 2007. Roses, Luna, Juan Luis Z. Jr., Arcia, Reynaldo, 1986, R. R. Philippine Almanac, Book of Facts, Ramon Roses y Pardo. Seekins, Donald M., 1991. The Commonwealth. In Dolan, Ronald E., Philippines, A Country Study, Washington, GPO for the Library of Congress, retrieved 28 December 2007. Seekins, Donald M., 1991b. World War II. In Dolan, Ronald E., Philippines, A Country Study, Washington, GPO for the Library of Congress, retrieved 28 December 2007. Weir, Fraser, 1998. American Colony and Philippine Commonwealth 1901-1941. A Centennial History of Philippine Independence, 1898-1998, retrieved 28 December 2007. Zaid, Sonia M. 1994, the Philippines, A Unique Nation, All Nations, ISBN 971-642-071-4. External links Kala, Maximo, The Present Government of the Philippines Book, Filipiniana, detailing the functions of the different branches of the Philippine Commonwealth. 
parallel and divergent aspects of British rule in the Raj, French rule in Indochina, Dutch rule in the Netherlands East Indies, Indonesia, and American rule in the Philippines, CA, House of David. Philippines, Polity Style, 1897-2009, Archontology. The Commonwealth of the Philippines, PH, Government. <laughs>